Welcome everybody, we're here Legion in Hell's League Diamond Division, the new subdivision of the Legion in Hell's League you might have seen in some previous uh, cast videos, together with me, the wonderful and beautiful voice, uh, co-caster Pennywise. <laughs> hey there. Very kind of you, dude, very kind. <laughs> Hope you're doing I'm good. Glad to be here. So this is the first casted game of the Diamond Division, is that right? Um... The first casted one from Meep, and I think it's as well the first casted one overall. Perfect. That's very hype then. Very yes, exciting. It's super it's super nice. I hope you guys let us know if Penny's voice volume is a little bit too high or too low. Um, it's always hard to to uh, see this based on the technology I have here. So that would be yeah, yeah, yeah. insane if you can tell me. So Cynic was, um, he was one of the guys when I was like first getting into Legion properly, probably season two or three or something like that. Cynic was one of the guys that I was always watching on Twitch to try and get better. Yeah, so it's Cynic really... was streaming a long time ago. I think it was even yeah, season yeah, yeah. three, if I'm right. So it's really hype for me to see him in like a tournament setting. I'm quite excited. Yes, he was a really good uh, player in the Master Cup um where he was like super high i think it was season three or four i think it was master cup three and yog yog and him were playing and they were super good duo but apparently they had some bad luck on the on the days and they didn't even make day two if i'm if i'm right oh, which I'm was a shame good. because they were absolutely one of the top four duos that time and they did not make um yeah they didn't make it sadly but let's see how this ends. And one thing I already discovered is Cynic did not take Reed, but somehow I still can't see which option he took. I think he takes Reed Raw. I think I've been watching his stream again lately because he okay. started it up again. And he, he almost always takes Reed Raw. Okay, okay. That is probably the, the best uh, choice, especially with him not having Doomsday or any other power, power unit in the role. So I would probably assume it is Doomsday. And uh, we're uh, casting uh, with our third co-caster now as well, it, it, it seems. <laughs> <laughs> I tried uh, muting so I could have a chat with him quickly. All right. Um, so let me then analyze the games. It's really interesting to see double snail sense here because none of those builds yeah. is actually leaking to this, which could the be considered as just feed. feed. Right? Yes, yeah. this is absolute feed. Even though Yogg Yogg messed up his wild shroom positioning so as we see it the wild shroom is oh, too close to the pilgrim yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah the wild shroom is way too close to the pilgrim usually you have two um two squares uh space between wild shroom and the pilgrim so the pilgrim is tanking some and the wild shroom is tanking some and this is actually uh, causing the first leak in this game i think it's going to be quite small though it's only four creeps yes and on it's top of three as well on top of this we're having a super long wave so you kind yeah. of have to be a little bit worried if you would be uh, the East team now. Well, meanwhile, Cynic is already on six workers, so he can send a brute. Um, yeah. It looks like he'll be able to do it in England exactly. against the Bone Crusher plus, in, in uh, Yellow. Plus, so. he had a send on one on top. Like, they both did the King Ups on one. Now, Cynic is able to send another brute in income time and because of the this fiend. leak. And this is hard. This is hard for them to hold. And actually, Cynic is playing for the scaling. I would, I would probably yeah. do the same. He has having flowers. He's... Well, yellow can do two um, fire archers here, and then he should be fine. To He's double fire archer would shroom, be play, though. yes. Uh, shroom is absolutely the worst player against the fiend, I think. <laughs> so he's, yeah, he doesn't he's know he's getting a fiend a long though, I guess. time. And already in the in the chat, we see the fanboy cynic and and Yok Yok. They are remembered. <laughs> <laughs> the fans are out here. I see mm. Rex and Mickey and Jammer. They're the fans. Yeah, even more murderous dog is cheering for uh, Cynic and even more that I can't see anymore. Um, but the, oh, this looks like it could be a big leak over on lane four. It could, Maybe well, it is going to be a huge leak, enough. but it could have been a huge leak, but now perfect uh, targeting of Shroom and Bounty Hunter. So he's going to do a decent job while well, both players are leaking, Yellow though. is not really doing too great. Yeah, As you say, both, both leaking are leaking. There, yeah. That's a rough one. And they can just resend. So Cynic for sure should resend another fiend here. Yep, absolutely. The thing is, 
there's gonna be huge sends against West team as well. So we already see one brute yeah. coming out. There's 80 Mythium on the line for Teal. So, so I guess it's it, a Dino for Teal. Yeah, Dino or yeah. Brute against Yogg Yogg. Even a Fiend is actually looking good. Kenrini would be dope as well. So there's actually plenty of options to send. Maybe even Dino's the worst, to be honest, because of the oh, magic damage. even managed to get the Violet look. He, with that snail Ooh, send, he just got enough gold is, for the Violet. That really Violet big is, for him. is really big because now he's not going to leak this one. He's going to hold the next wave. He's going to hold six probably. And until then, he will be able to get some gold for the bunk as well. So she's playing super safe now. And yeah, he's going to have Even Yogg should be able to hold because he's got crazy high value. They're both having crazy high value. Those leaks, they just snowballed insanely for them. Let's have a look. So the brood here against oh never mind. I I was just switching up the lanes. That's why I wondered why he wanted to send a, a dino against the shroom. But have yeah, a look it at looks this. Like a small leak on Yog, even with his four hundred value. Uh, yes. Uh, well, I'm gonna be honest with you. Trinity Art just feels totally useless at the moment. Early yeah. game, yeah. Early well, game, yes. even late, late game, game very strong. even late game, you're like you have to have as many tanks in the split as on your main wave to do good with them, uh, which is really hard to to achieve in a normal yeah. setup. So it's it's really hard to go for it in my in my eyes. And now, based on wow. the leaks, Cynic on nine workers Cynic already. Cynic on nine workers. He's even safe here. Um, I'm a little bit afraid about his focus on the upcoming wave because the boss is obviously going right and then the Violet is not going to hit the big Scorpion King. So there might yeah, be leaks. He, he could oh, be he in trouble it? if he was oh, getting a but he's it. not Look getting at this. A he's, he's changing oh, his, he his positioning. Yeah. Um, so he should be, she should be alright. And Yogg Yogg being really risky with only adding, I think it was two Protons if I'm right. Um, obviously he's That's not quite a waste him. of gold though that's a 16 yeah, is, gold cost just to reposition your split you know and I, I like it though it is a little bit too risky in my eyes to not do it after a long wave this is this is a fiesta game there's there's been leaks yeah. on two there's been a leak on three and on four so this is going to be a a fiesta game and right side I think is it's the right uh, saving their lithium yeah Yes, but is, what the are they saving they, for? They're both strong, but I don't know. I they, mean, they saw the Canopy already, which would kind of not open their send on 7 against not against Yogg Yogg. Now he has the yeah. Elite Archer, which kind of makes the, the next good send on 9. Uh, whereas Sinning has a lot more yeah. options to, to get leaked. But he's not able to shift for the Banana Bank. He's too afraid. Actually, if there's no big leaks on East Team, they could get Cynic quite hard next wave. They could. Or well, wave 8 could be very strong mm. as well. And I think I actually they won the mic destroy game. both of them. I think with the double canopy, at least uh, Teal is holding. Um, there's going to be an average league on, on yellow, but Teal should hold this and even receive a lot yeah, of stacks really on there. Actually. So they won this game for sure, uh, this, this, this wave for sure. Well, and Teal has, um, he only got a small send as well, whereas Yellow got the double brute send, which is yes. a lot harder to hold. They were now really unlucky that the Bounty Hunter and the Canopy are not sharing any aggro. That would have really yeah, helped them. Then he could kill and now, look bit, at yeah. this, look at this. Bounty Hunter was attacking yeah. the, the one behind, yeah. while the Ranger is attacking the other one. It's all right, though. Small leaks to the King. Sends are going to be huge. Double brute from Yellow. There's going to be another good send from Teal. I'm not sure help about the hermit, though. though. Yeah, totally not sure about the hermit. His only AOE is the violet spell. The thing is, why normally you could actually send a. He's doing it. He sold a uh, devil fish for a yeah, bunk. I saw it. I saw it. Really high investments. Um, Sinning is doing, and he's placing his yeah. bunk a little bit. He's placing his bunk wrong. One, one okay. snail. One snail, and this bunk is dead. Dead value. Like, not on 7, obviously, but on later waves. On later waves, this bunk is not going to tank for him. At least not for, for the main part of his wave. It's going to be really hard for him to do some good holds. And look at 
Look at uh, lane two. The brutes are really fast killing those canopies. Yeah, the split is almost not the split almost not existing, and those Trinity yeah. Arches are gonna have a, a, a close job to to hold or lick this. It's gonna be really close for them. He's doing okay. The, yeah, the split still aggro does. here on the Trinity on the Archers is really good for him actually. Actually, it does, and and Cynic is even leaking with the banana bunk. With some improved positioning, where the banana bank is yeah. tanking some, and the wild is tanking some, he would have probably hold. I think. I think you can hold. So Cynic's still yeah. maintaining the worker lead in this game now with eleven workers, but he has had to spend quite a lot of gold just in selling and repositioning units. We saw him sell uh, gargoyle on five, and then we saw him sell a devilfish on seven as well. So those little bits of gold add up, you know. Yes, they do. They do. It's already half a worker. Cynic uh, lost due to. Uh, improvements of his positioning um, and this could really bring them in some trouble but well it's a full worker right because it's 16 gold from the gargoyle and it's another what is it 38 gold from the devil fish oh so you're right you're right absolutely yeah, it's a lot of gold yes it is i forgot about gargoyle being actually 40 gold um and i mean this is a problem for cynic he is one worker in gold loss behind but with the mythium he's having, <laughs> this does not look oh, too that's bad for huge. them. Yeah. And when do they send it? I guess nine looks pretty tempting. Um, let's have a look. We will see Teal. Well, he's Teal has no chance of holding nine. I think even with a kingpin, um, he's gonna have some troubles. On the other hand side, his yellow is looks quite exposed, all right. right. His kingpin is up Absolutely. in the top right-hand corner, so there's nothing Just to Just getting the ogre, it. and he does get the ogre. Yeah. Ogre against kingpin, and he won't have too much to say on this wave. Maybe even so a, he, a he higher the split. Kingpin and he does get it. So, so that, higher that's split on I'd like left to see now. that he didn't do that. Higher split on the left would be uh, the right play, I think, to protect your kingpin as long as yeah. possible. Therefore, He's you would sacrifice... Split, so his kingpin's going to take all of the aggro. Yes. Kingpin's going to tank the ogre right from the star, which means it will die pretty quickly, I think. Yep. And yellow trying to improve his build with a boa. So he's having actually a lot of units that are quite fine here. A lot of impact damage with the canopy, the antler, and the boa splash. But I'm not sure if it is enough, especially not with um, the split he's still having and that is still active due to no tier 1 at the top of the lane. We need to lane. watch this kingpin in lane 4 because whether or not this dies to the ogre is oh, whether does. or not this it game is die. over here. It does yeah, die. So but yellow, yellow has a really good focus on the ogre so this one ogre is dead there. Um, well, I'm this not, is I'm still not sure GG. It's enough. This is still GG. Yeah. The send is just too huge. There have been some missends uh, on, on some other ways. For example, 7. They really had to do, get some king there. And now this is over for uh, the guy and boys. It was a cl it was not not a close game. It was a really fast game. We have to say, a yeah, very fast game. Yeah. Um, well, this is this is the thing about Fiesta games. They either go really fast because there's gonna be a huge send on one wave you didn't expect, or they're going extremely long and you will see with wave twenty one, um, based on the rolls you're having. <laughs> They did. They did alright. They right. could have taken a lot of king damage. So the um, the plays that Cynic made there with selling units, I think, were tough decisions to make because, like we said, he yes. wasted 50, 50 plus gold. Yeah. But if he didn't do that, he would have leaked super hard on wave seven. Yes. Um. I think on wave five, you don't have to do it. Like sell the gargoyle here or into the uh, better split because you're actually are right already on five. You're not too bad, and you might leak a little bit, but you won't leak too hard, so you could save those uh, 16 golds. But on wave 7, you have to do the sell because otherwise, if he's getting a hermit and a brood with the units he's having, he's gonna leak super hard. There's no oh, chance sure. of him holding. Yeah. Actually, the most interesting part is is going uh, is group B going to be a tie group again? Is it <laughs> is Group B again <laughs> the groups full of ties? Because the last two seasons of Legion Inner League Group B has always been the tie group, like sixty percent of all games tied in the end. Really well, we can't break with tradition it. now. This has to be a tie. Absolutely. Um, let's have a look real quick. I see a lot of potential in Yellow's role. I mean, 
bring him into the late game, and this is one. Oh yeah, that's a nice roll. He didn't take the disciple though. And not the gates. Wow. He did take two tier ones though. Oh, that is such a misplay. He's playing all in for the early game. Yeah, I think he had a really nice roll. Oh yeah, I wouldn't yeah, have taken such a hard. I would have taken disciple gate guard, and just he, gate. he would have had a super strong early game. Yeah, he had it gates. He could have as well done disciple disciple boar flower, which is like guaranteed hold fifteen till even fourteen, fourteen till nineteen. Yeah. He's re-rolled already, by the way. So he's rolled away the oh. Windhawk, which I think was his best unit. Yeah, the Windhawk was basically his early game. So really big mistakes in, in our eyes, I would say, um, from from Yellow there. While I don't really like Teal's roll too much as well, it's really expensive. He's doubling up his yeah, Arcane. Really He's yeah. doubling up his Arcane units. Mm, does not have perfect pierce damage as well so it's gonna be a real tough time for for teal in my eyes yog's doing an interesting start i haven't seen this before yeah Two was in a infiltrator i haven't seen this one as well cynic the same start as he played today in ranked against me he's having a interesting role as well i would say i don't really like it too much there's a lot of mixes like you have Seria with Gates doesn't harmonize too well, as well as Gates and the uh, Harfi. Yeah, his there's, role is not great, to be honest. There's a lot of reroll yeah. potential. He has Gates with uh, Antler, later the White Man Aura, though, which is a lot of a lot of potential. Oh, no. I think Yogg is having the best role so far in this game. Yeah, I just see there's Sorcerer in the game. I didn't see that one before. So Gate Gun Gnome with the Flowers, he actually had... <laughs> the best roll by far. But rolled it away. Yeah, he rolled the flowers away on top of Disciple uh, Boa. Oh, no. That hurts. That hurts. I really hope he's at least going for the mask with Sorcerer. But Sorcerer on mask is still very, very strong. It is. It is. It is. I think it's the second best comp because you, you can make a lot of use of it uh, in the mid game already. Mm, while with uh, Boas, you, you make the most use of it in the late game because Boas is just, just such an expensive unit. Yeah. We've got some big sends coming out now, so a brute is going into lane. Yeah, we do. Three. We do. And we do uh, have some big he worker needs already. to split the aggro. He needs yeah. something to share the aggro with that bone crusher, otherwise, it's going to just die way too fast and yeah, waste look, all of its region. Look at the worker count from Yogg Yogg and Cynic again. They, they received sends on two once again as last game. And now they're just really, really good in the game, I would say. Yeah. There's nothing... And this is exactly what I mean. So if you look at lane three now, you just see the Crusher is taking all of the aggro. It's heal. Yeah. It doesn't have any time to heal. So yeah. it just dies really quickly. If you just did split, I think the best would have actually been to split with the Dark Mage. Yeah. Um, might have, he's actually might have doing been... really well, though, but that's more because his value is so high. Yeah, his value is really high. Um, he's having decent units on top. The mask is quite nice, especially um, with it receiving the Dark Mage buff. But you could have yeah. held here with the same units and just a little bit of an improved setup, especially here. The one Bone Warrior he did, he could have just placed this one in a split and it would probably already have been the hold. Yeah, agreed. I assume. But that actually worked out better than I thought it would, to be honest. When I saw his build, I thought it would leak more than that. Um, I was unsure. I think it, it can leak more, but I was I I've seen similar combinations already, and I was already uh, always upset that it did not leak more than I was expecting. Um, it is alright though. I think it's it's fine. He did leak, which is which is good enough for the enemy team with had that had more workers at the time. Mm -hmm. So cynic shifting here, which means he would leak pretty hard if they sent a dino, but they're yes. not sending. So cynic shift is very good for him. He'll get a Violet for five. Mm. So assuming that they do decide to send five, he should hold pretty well. He should hold. And Yogg Yogg is likely to get the Graal if he is sending. So he should be um, all right on next wave as well. I think it might be a long save from Teal though. I could I could imagine the send coming on six. Mm, but see... then he'll have a Violet anyway, so... Yeah, but you you don't expect somebody to shift on, on wave 4 after not receiving a send for so long. 
factory. So I could have imagined the, the longer save, but it doesn't look like it. As I predicted, the Graal is coming out from Yog Yog, 500 value for him. This should not be uh, a task for him. Uh, he's he's no, not able to I think to, both players are fine here. He, he doesn't have Both split though and cynic with the with the violet obviously uh looking really really strong as well that was really uh brave to shift gold on four while he was being saved like that but it obviously pays off you can't underestimate harpies though they're really strong on four yeah why they're really bad on the next four waves <laughs> yeah 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 so. I'm personally not a fan of Harpies. I'm a real big fan of Sky Queens, but uh, Harpies, they've already disappointed me in my ranked games. And uh, Yogi's already holding, and it looks like the same for Cynic as well. Yep, everybody's holding. Uh, East team as well. They're doing a, a nice job. Obviously, got the smaller sense, but everybody yep. is holding here. Worker count is similar. So this game's actually a lot more even than the last one was, if you look at the worker count yes, and the income. it is. We had no leaks so far. Uh, yeah. Beside the the one brood on on yellow and wave three, mm, and one thing I discover here is the mask in a split. I'm really no fan of putting your DPS units in a split, because they're DPS units. They don't have HP. Um, you don't want them to tank anything. Yeah, and his ranger behind that as well. Yes. So it is a low split. It's a low range split, which means it won't take much aggro. Yeah, maybe one if one any. creep. Yeah. Oh no. Uh, it didn't it's... even take one creep. The creep changed its mind. Maybe maybe later on a swarm wave um, it might happen. Or on ranged waves it is very likely, for example, an 11 um, for the split to tank some. And uh, Yellow's oh, lack shit. of shared aggro is really coming oh, back to bite him now because I think he shifted. his tagline just died we really see, We fast. see 80 gold here and he yeah. only cleared one Rocco. So he shifted some gold, and this is a real big leak for him. He is. Yeah. He is His far behind melted. now. He is far behind now. He had nothing to now. take the aggro off no. the crusher, and it just died really quickly. No crusher, still no split, which would have helped. He somehow already thought a sacred steed is a good thing to go for. Don't really agree on that one. That's a shame, because this game was looking fairly even yeah. until now. You could have just... I wonder why he just did not go for the Hellraiser. He, he, he shifted 50 gold plus the 80 gold he actually built the Sacred Steed with, so a Hellraiser would have really helped him to, to do oh, great sure. here. And then and Hellraiser the would race. cover him here, because it would be angry. Yep. Oh, and we see, I, I just see Mick in the chat, he's even saying that Teal had APS with masks. I didn't see the APS on top. Oh, damn it. So his team had the way better roles, but they somehow messed up and picked the wrong ones. That is, we can that see is how much that wave six really hurt yellow as well. Yeah, look at Yog Yog, He's... 10 workers now. Yeah, and yellow, 80 gold lost the leaks. That's, yes. it's that's too much gold to have lost this early in the game. It is insane. And now with the banana bunk plus aqua that is uh, already shown by Yog Yog, he's safe for the next wave. So it's, it's kind of nine for them. And I would love to see nine for a big reason. He. Cynic does have a violet, yes, but this is only one uh, 265 value, and the rest of his units are total garbage on 9. He has 3 yeah. veterans already, he's now going for the Sky Queen, which is somewhat average uh, on, on wave 9, he's, it's somewhat decent, but the two har uh, harpies are, are really bad, and I can see those massive leaks on 9, to be honest. So Yogg fully boosting an Orchid here, that's 20 gold, and he's not getting a set, so that's some benefit over he's to the right really side. He's really afraid. Team. He is really but afraid. But look at Yellow's value. Oh, I, I don't see this going well. Yeah, the, the, the 220 cent against Teal, with not yeah. being that great on the wave, Kenopi is just yeah, a dead unit, to be, to be fair. I really don't Jacanopi like it. just needs to tank, though, for the red mass yeah. to do all the damage. But the problem is, it's just too uh, much. And the mole, just such a perfect sense again. Ascend yeah. against yellow. This is it? Is it? What's the uh, spell? If it's not, if it's not no, in the it's not economic it. lead. It's not it. Now, the king will clear that with one spell, but they're so far ahead in gold. Let's, let's have a look on the difference yeah. on gold. Yeah, sure, sure. 
Oh, folks. Oh, they're just dead. This is it, yeah. I think Wave 8 wow. is just too strong at the moment. Holy shit, this, Dennis. This was a really quick one. Oh no, they really tried hard. I think Wave 9 would have been super interesting. Um, they had so much Mythium as well for Wave 9. It was just it, a pure dem demonstration of power, to be fair. Well, I think it this was... game comes down to that Wave 6, honestly. So yeah, that yellow, was I guess, stage. shifted some gold. Added oh, a steed, wait. which didn't really help. He did not even do the steed. The steed was there on 5 already. Uh, so he, he didn't just shifted. Anything. He just pushed he the workers and shifted. Yeah. Oh yeah, that killed him totally. I think he, he should have read the debate with the brood. You should be aware that a brood is not all you can get. There's at least some more uh, in the back. And he did not add anything. Not a single goal. Yeah, that was really rough. The 100% leak is, is a lot. And that's a couple a couple of points there. One, he was he was shifting, whereas he should have got the red mask. And two, there's just no split, which means yeah. the bone crusher doesn't really get to use its heal ability at all. So, have you got the uh, post game screen open? I have it. I have it. So, for people in chat who are wanting to learn what we mean when we talk about sharing aggro, if you look at this build on wave six. On yellow, you can see the crush is out there in the front by itself. Yes. It's really his only melee unit apart from the, the little bone warrior, and that doesn't really count. Yeah, and the steam. So what happens when wave six starts is all of the Roccos attack the bone crusher, and it just dies, like, immediately. Um, and half the value of a bone crusher is in its heal over time ability. So if it dies really quickly, it doesn't heal anything, and it's just a completely yes. dead unit. So what he needed to do was have... Even just like one bone warrior over on the left hand side wall, yes. so okay. that some of the Roccos go that way and they're not attacking his bone crusher, then yeah. everything in his build lives for a lot longer. And he's still going to leak, but he's not going to leak 100%. Yes. He's going to leak a lot less, especially with um, a split. He would do an even split, which would let three Roccos go to the left, three to the right. And then the three Roccos from the left would first hit the two maidens before they would even be in range. Uh, to hit the bone crusher the bone crusher would yeah. obviously be dead until then because three rockos it's not a fair fight for them uh for for the bone crusher but still you will share a lot of aggro um together with the masks so this is a lot uh a lot better uh, positioning that he could have done but somehow didn't miss to do 